Be nice over there. I'm always nice. I disagree. Look at my opening kind face. Your opening kind face? You look bewildered and sad. Lisa, may I have some more? No, we have to go now. Hunter, Hunter save us from this absurdity. Well. Who are you and what are you doing? Well, I'm Hunter and I'm working on a BD-5. Nice. Yeah. So people have been following along on this. It's been frustrating, but what have you done? Where are you at? What have I done? Uh, I finished up this little bit of canopy. Oh, that's cool. Let's see that. Yeah. That's the, uh, that's how you get in and out. There'll be a canopy. Get in and out of the plane. Okay. And then the canopy that'll be in this front area, that'll be permanently yeah, yeah, fixed. Yeah, permanently attached. Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay. Just this morning I put in this, the pedal assembly here. Okay, there's your rudder pedal. You got the rudder pedals and the tow brake. A little dark in there, but we can see it. Okay, tow brakes, that's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at you being an engineer with your flashlight. Okay, what else you got going on got here? that going on. Um, I've been done some kind of fitting with the wings a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, finished up this horizontal, horizontal stabilizer. Horizontal stabilizer. I think we should tell people what you're doing with this thing right now before you get trolls nitpicking you. Okay, this is just going to be for a static display. Yes. So nothing necessarily has to work, it just needs to it needs to put it together and look, function look. properly and be right, opportunity to learn, but it's never going to be flown. It's not going to be intended to be flown just as a display in, in the time that you realistically have yeah. to get your feet wet with aircraft design and building and construction. And yep. and, uh, but it's going to be pretty. So let's. So you got your, what is this thing? Horizontal this stabilizer? Horizontal stabilizer. Hold on. Yeah. So got a, a little bit of trimming is going to get. That's cool though. That's cool. That, and then you have the trim tab. On yes. So you adjust it so you can get get nice level right. flight. Well, you have, uh, and the reason it's rubbing a little bit, you don't even have it screwed down properly. Yeah, yeah, things aren't riveted and screwed down. It's so. literally just held on um, temporarily now. Yeah. Now, what uh, the wing tips? You got some something going on with that, huh? Got those kind of in here. So I. What are those made out of? Balsa wood. Yeah. So this it... was this was a balsa wood block, a little, little bit bigger. Yes. So I cut cut out the. The profile of it, and then just with a belt sander, just kept forming it. And that's that's what you do for wingtips on a BD-5, huh? It's just balsa wood like a model airplane that you shape, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty. It just fits there inside the skin. Slides in and goes a little bit further forward. I think gotcha. this, this one might be it. Okay, that's neat. Very cool. Very cool. So, what epiphanies or learning have you had from working on this jet? Well, there's there's little little odds and ends. Things about trying to get some of these ribs in straight, mm -hmm. and you know, trying to oh, get, yeah, and get the ribs that. back behind the skin, and then when you wrap the skin over it, yes. then you have a hard time locating the ribs. Mm -hmm. But getting, figuring out how to get that done. Do you have a new appreciation for aircraft design? Definitely. Do you Definitely. think you're a better fabricator and engineer having done all this? Yeah. What uh, What's changed for you? How, how do you feel different having worked on this? Definitely able to. Figure, figuring out some stuff. I mean, I have the book here, mm -hmm. and a lot of the book tell, tells you how to do stuff. Yeah, it's but old. some of it doesn't do, doesn't do as good a job as I would have thought that it could have. Yeah, so it leaves a little bit to your engineering to fill in the blanks. To fill in the blanks, like and come up with the, the how, frog DNA in Jurassic Park. <laughs> yep, yep. So it kind of gives you just a general guideline. Yes. And just assumes that you're smart enough to be able to figure out how to do the rest. Ooh, I like that. Not dummy proof. It's like it's, old school, yeah? Oh, no. It's certainly not that. But once you figure it out, think of what, how much of a better engineer you'll be. For sure. Because Definitely. not only do you know the answer, you know how to find how the to answer. How to get to the answer. Yeah. Yep. So anytime you get stuff in the future, you figure out how to, to think it through. Yep. For well, sure. good. So what are your next steps? What's going to come together quickly on this? So we're going to try to get... You want to grab one of the wings and slide it on? Yeah, well, let's do that. Grab the left one. Nice. Hunter is grabbing a wing. I think this one's it. Yeah, it'll have the little tab on the top. It, either way, it'll still fit. I'd help you, but you know, I'm holding the camera. That's hard work. Can you guys mind? I heard up from the peanut gallery over there. Pay time. Uh huh. Now, these are the A wings, is that right? A or B. I, 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 I think they're A because they're short. They're really short. Yeah. Okay, so this has a circular cross section spar in it, a tube spar. Correct. It goes and it slides the right over this big yep. boss. And it goes clear up to here. And you're going to have to drill a hole in this tab. Yep. And the wing will literally be held on by one bolt, is that right? Pretty much. Yeah, because all the forces are basically up and down and nothing's pulling it in or out. Nothing's pulling so it in or out. One bolt is more than enough. It's inefficient. Yep. Excellent. We got 
you got your flaps and your ailerons. Correct. Um, the big fiberglass fillets, you'll have to be working on uh, those. Form, yeah, it goes to down to here. Are there any other ribs that have to go in for that, or is it just that one aluminum one? I believe it's just that one aluminum one. I see. And does it rivet to the fuselage? Is that how it attaches? I believe that that's, what it, that's what, how, it, how it goes together. Okay, yeah. I got you. All right. Yeah. Well, this is pretty exciting. This is looking good, this yeah. tiny jet. Start, starting to come together. Okay. So we've been talking about when you get it uh, together, which will happen pretty quickly, um, what kind of paint scheme are you going to do? How are, you gonna, how are we going to do that? We've been talking about a couple different things. Uh, I'd like to do the, the Bell X1 orange. Mm -hmm. the, the, old, Air the Air Force insignias, Air Force insignias the Genius on Garage it. and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a good, good tribute and it'll look nice. Well, there's, you know, possibly black, maybe, maybe a cool, cool blue, I don't know. Yeah. There's, so there's different, different things that we've been kind of Kind of like around. a skunk work sort of thing, black with some red stripes or something. That would be neat. That could be pretty cool. It looked like a bat plane. That's, that's what we need. <laughs> yeah, that's all we need is another ridiculous Batmobile type thing. Never mind what's in the corner, people. You didn't see anything. <laughs> all right, Hunter, well, uh, anything else you'd like to tell anybody about building your own aircraft? And if you if you feel like you want to do something, I say go for it. Just if you have the drive to get something done. Yeah, just as long as you think about your resource think, management. Think what's about it and going to take to do. Have, and have reasonable expectations. Yes. I, I've definitely kind of been bit by that a few times where you, you think you could get a little bit more done. Right. That's that's not really the reality. It's going to take a little longer than you. Don't be like too it. proud to ask for help. Maybe. Certainly. So and plan things through ahead of time and make sure you see it through. Yeah. And you too can build an airplane. Correct. Cool. You think maybe uh, in the future one day you'll build a plane of your own? Very possibly. Yeah. Well, you don't have to go as crazy as a jet, but I hope you've had fun doing this experience so far. Oh, I have. Hope you guys out there on the interweb have enjoyed it as well. So, how far along will this be next time when they see it? I'm hoping it's, it'll be all painted up and done. Hanging from the ceiling? Hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, well I hope you guys have enjoyed the update with Hunter's BD5 build. And of course, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. See ya.